I'm Tom Johnson from Oskaloosa, Iowa. I grew up on a family farm and uh, always saw this grain drill sitting in the barn. Just one horse grain drill. Never gave it much thought. It was at one of our winter conventions when a gentleman by the name of Clyde Berkshire asked me if I knew where I could find a Kentucky grain drill. Well, I'd seen it enough that I knew that that's what was sitting in our barn and I didn't know enough about it yet at the time. But my father told me that his grandfather and his father had both used that grain drill on the farm in New Boston, Illinois, and that he had brought it with them from New Boston to Oskaloosa. So that farm family brought that from Trap Hill, North Carolina originally, so it's been in our family for generations, and I assume they bought it new. That's the best I know. I know it's somewhere around in 1904, maybe newer, I don't know. but. On the side of the grain box, it says it's part of the American Seeding Group, and seven companies were merged together to make up this seeding group. And they were later bought in around 1919 and 1920 by the International Harvester. So it's pretty unique to find something of that age sitting for that long. And then, by chance, I had an auction and found a Hoosier grain drill. The Hoosier grain drill dates back somewhere around 1858 is when the company started. And this one says it was patented in April 25th, 1876. So it has some age to it and it too became part of International Harvester in the 1919-1920. It's real unclear of which year it was for sure, but I'm still trying to research and it's very hard to find this type of information on this machine because there wasn't good records kept basically back in those days. So, But they're both sitting out here on the grounds and the interesting thing about the Hoosier is that it has, it's a shoe drill instead of a disc opener drill like the Kentucky. And the shoe drill has wooden tags that are carved to fit into the hole so that it'll shear if it hits a rock or a tree root wooden field. And it's missing a few pieces off of it, but I found another one here on the grounds today that is more complete than mine, so I know what I'm missing now. So, because I can't find any actual pictures of it, so I did find the lithium type of the later grain drills, the larger drills, but the single horse drills seem to be very difficult to get any pictures of. So, but they're very unique. They're different, and they were designed to go right down between standing rows of corn to intercede peas and different grains in between the rows kind of as a cover crop after the corn was taken off. So, so it's not a new method as far as what we're doing in farming today. We're putting cover crops on that's been done back in the 1800s already. So it's amazing how technology keeps coming back around, goes away and comes back. Yeah. And there's just, these drills are both, I would say, operational if a person puts some parts back on. So it's very unique to find them and they are interesting to look at. So, cool. I guess that's all I have to say about it. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.